what we're looking at here is moss campion. This is the quintessential cushion plant of the Alpine. And this plant right here may be as much as 25 years old. And in the life of cushion plants, this is actually a, a fast grower. Right now in our yard, we have sunflowers that have 10 times the biomass or the, the life above ground than this campion that is 25 years old. The sunflowers are one year old. This is the beginning of life in the Alpine. These cushion plants serve the important role of colonizing the fresh, disturbed, rocky, degraded slopes of the Alpine and may take thousands of years before they can actually develop enough organic matter just from taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, moving it down to the roots, creating the life, the topsoil necessary for the development of the majority of other Alpine plants that can survive up here right now. And so what we're looking at up here is a talus field that is beginning to become stable. And easily over a thousand years ago, the talus here started to break down into smaller particles of what we call mineral soil, to the point where these cushion plants could start to survive. Small, wind-blown, we call, some people call it the aeolian fauna, the spiders, the dust, the pollen blowing in the atmosphere, falling into these rock crevices the uh, seeds that blow in, uh, insects. And over time, over thousands of years, we're gonna see soil that is 12,000 years old, um, that is no more than 12 inches deep. And it's these plants that help to kick off that whole process that we call succession. And in succession, these pioneer plants are integral to, to the survival of the alpine tundra in general. And so it underscores the importance of when we're walking in these ancient alpine communities, trying to preserve what's there. Because if we unravel these communities, it's going to take thousands of years again to redevelop these Alpine communities. <laughs>